Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to blend images to create a custom background design in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the very first thing we need to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So we need to give this page a name. I'm just going to call this tutorial. And then we're going to go and click on use Divi Builder. Now we're going to build our design from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first option here. And we're also going to need a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. Right. So now that we have this all set, the next module that we need to add here is the image module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Now I'm going to choose my images. So I'm going to come over here and the image I'm going to choose is this one. Now take a note. The size here is 500 by 702 pixels. So if you're going to be using a different image, make sure that you uh, follow these dimensions because this is what's going to get you a design which is similar or very close to what I'm doing here in this, in this tutorial. All right, so I'm going to click upload an image. So now that I have my image added, we also need to go in and set our maximum width and also the alignment. All right, so to do that, we're going to come over here to design sizing. And for our maximum width, we're going to set this to 33 VW. And then over here on the alignment, we are going to uh, align this to the left. All right, so next, we want the next image we add to align to the right of this image. So we need to float this image to the left. Left. So what we're going to do is to use a bit of CSS. So I'm going to come over here to the advanced tab, custom CSS. And on the main element here, I am going to add my CSS code. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same CSS code as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So here we're done. I'm going to save. And then next, I'm going to add another image just below the one we've just added. So I'm going to search for my image module, select it. And then I'm going to choose my image. So I'm going to click here, uh, click in here. And then the size of this image is 1000 by 667 pixels. So go ahead and use something similar to that. Next, we're just going to click here on upload an image. And then I'm going to go to my design settings here, click on sizing. And then for maximum width, I'm going to set this to 40 VW. And then for the module alignment, we're going to align this to the right and then save. Now let's go into our section settings. So over here, I'm going to click on this gear icon to enter my section settings, click on background and then click on the third tab. Now here we need to add an image. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Now this image we're going to add here is big. So uh, the dimensions are 1920 by 1280. So again, if you want to achieve a similar design to this, you need to use the exact same dimensions here. So now I'm going to click upload an image. So now I have that massive image there in the background. So what I'm going to do next is to add a gradient to, to this. So I'm going to come over here on the gradient tab, and then I'm going to click on this plus button. So over here on the first color, I'm just going to drag the slider down because the color I'm going to add here is going to have some transparency. So make sure you add your values between the brackets. And um, also I am going to add the second color and similar to the first one, this is also going to have some transparency. So I'm going to drag the slider down a little bit and then I am going to paste this like that. Now, as you can see, we don't get to see the gradient here. That is because we need to activate this button right here, which says place gradient above image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now you can see we have a gradient uh, that has been added there. Now let's uh, go and adjust our padding. So I'm going to come over here on the design tab, click on spacing. And for our padding, we're going to set this to zero to the top and the bottom. And notice I'm activating this chain so that the value can be added both to the top and the bottom. So with that set, I'm going to save. And then we need to go into our row settings. So in here, we are also going to work on our width. So I'm going to come over here to design click on sizing and for our width here by default, it's set to 80%, just drag it all the way to 100%. And then for the maximum width, we want to do the same, set this to 100% and then go to spacing because here we need to set our padding top and bottom, set this to zero. And then all the way down here, we are going to add a blend mode. So I'm going to click here on filters and then on the blend mode, I am going to set this to multiply. So now notice what happens. All our images now have been blended in together, but just by changing my blend mode to multiply. 
So what we need also need to do here is to make sure that uh, on different devices, all our images are aligned vertically. So we need to add a bit of CSS code to achieve that. So I'm gonna click here on content and then I'm gonna click on my first column here, click advanced, custom CSS, and I am going to add my CSS code in here. And as I mentioned before, if you want to uh, follow along step by step, I'm gonna leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So with this, I'm gonna save save one more time. Now you can see here we have a hard line on this image here. So in order for us to fix that, I'm gonna come over here to my module settings, click on design, and then I'm gonna come over here to box shadow. So the, uh, the type I'm gonna choose is this one right here. And then I'm going to add my blur strength. So for my uh, blur strength here, what we're trying to achieve is to just get rid of this hard, harsh line here. So on the blur strength, I'm gonna set this to 6VW, and then the spread strength, again, we're gonna set it to 6VW. And for the shadow color, we are going to have a solid color here, and we're gonna set this to white. There we go. And then next, I'm gonna come over here to transform. And then I'm gonna click here on transform translate. Set this size to 5VW. I'm gonna break the chain here because on the bottom here, we need to set this to 11. We're gonna save this. And then we're gonna do a quick preview because pretty much this is our final design. So finally, all you have to do is to add this text module, add your title and description, and pretty much this is our final design. Our images now have been blended well together, and this is our final design. I'm just ex exiting now the Visual Builder so you can see all this in action. So now this is pretty much how we blend images together. Now, if you wanna use this layout pack, I mean, it's also in the video description below. You can go ahead, download it, and uh, use it in your designs. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.